News at Westminster with more <clears> details <throat> on this. Morning, Ranveer. The Health Secretary, Sajid Javid, is difficult, isn't it? It's such a hideously complicated thing, social care. So we know from uh, next April, we're all paying 1.25% more in national insurance. Um, that's going to be the health and social care tax, essentially. A lot of it will go towards plugging the problems in the NHS, but then eventually it will go towards this cap that you're talking about this morning. So in it, this is for England only, remember. So it sounds pretty simple at first look. It's, you know, uh, from April 2023, uh, nobody will pay more than £86,000 a year for their daily tasks, like if you need help with washing, if you need help with dressing, if you need help with, you know, eating, things like that, all that social care, whether that's in your own home or whether that's in a care home. Um, and that's, of course, the government is saying, well, that's, you know, that's a, it's a blanket cap, cap £86,000. But of course, that doesn't cover things like your energy bills. If you're living in your own home, it doesn't cost things like, you know, the cost of the accommodation um, and the cost of the food, of course, just your living costs. And once you've reached that £86,000, then your local authority will step in and they'll means test you to see if you, if you can qualify for any more help. So if you have less than £20,000 in assets, that means savings and other things, then you won't have to pay anything. But if you have between £20,000 and £100,000, so if, you know, that means your house, essentially if you have a, live in a house that's worth up to a hundred thousand pounds then you, then they will test you to see how much more you should pay towards your care now people like the King's um, Fund Health Charity have said, and this is their quote, those with low to moderate levels of wealth will get less protection than wealthier people. And critics are saying that those who qualify for that means testing, for that financial help, actually will end up using more of their assets than those who are better off. It's complicated, isn't it? But John Ashworth, who is the Shadow Health Secretary, echoes those same criticisms. Here he is may well face a backbench rebellion from their own Tory MPs. You've got a lot of Tory MPs, of course, an 80-seat majority, and a lot of those are in the north of England and in those Midlands areas, you know, poorer areas in many senses. And some of those MPs are saying, hang on a minute, just don't expect us as Tory MPs who represent our constituents just to nod this um, vote through today. So I think, uh, I mean, it probably will go through, but I think that there is a lot of disquiet because these MPs who are new MPs in those areas with poorer constituents have to face those people now uh, and justify this new amendment to them. So that's going to be a tricky line for them to tread today. Okay, we'll wait to see what happens next. Ranveer, thanks very much. Backbench rebellion in today's vote because many feel that if you are means tested after you've reached that cap and you have savings or a home worth up to £100,000, you may have to sell your entire home. And many believe that to be deeply unfair and would make the poor poorer. No, and it's so hideously complicated, isn't it, trying to think through um, social care, uh, and this is proving the point, really. So we, we know that we're all going to pay 1.25% more in national insurance, don't we, from next year. That's the sort of health and social care tax. It's going to plug the problems in the NHS first, but after that, it will go towards this cap that we're talking about this morning, the £86,000. Now, it sounds pretty simple. It's for England only, by the way, let's remember this. Um, it will go towards things like paying for uh, help if you need to wash yourself, if you need help to feed yourself um, and things like that in your own home or in care homes. Now, once that threshold has been reached of £86,000, if you have assets, and that means, you know, savings or a house or whatever, between £20,000 and £100,000, um, then the local council will means test you to see how much more you should pay towards your own care. Now, that has been criticised by things, uh, by charities, by health charities, the King's Fund, for example. They say that those with low to moderate levels of wealth will get less protection than wealthier people. Um, and Jonathan Ashworth, who is the shadow um, health secretary for Labour, he was on the programme this morning and he sort of put it this way. Listen to this. this well, there may well be a, a Tory backbench rebellion over this vote today. I mean, he, of course, Boris Johnson has got an 80-seat majority, so it would have to be a big rebellion for this to be voted down. But the fact is that, you know, the, the Tories have a lot of new MPs in, you know, those red wall areas, we call sort of in the north, in the Midlands. And, of course, the point that John Athwish there is making is that, you know, there will be many, many constituents for those new Tory MPs who will fall in, in this in this gap, in this real, this real problem of what happens if your house is worth 70 or 80,000 pounds, you may end up having to sell your house to pay for your care. And they are saying that this is deeply unfair. So it'll be interesting to see which way those Tory MPs who have to face those constituents will go today in that vote. Okay, right.